So when growing plants, it's always wise to have a check and balance system. Uh, just like the government here, to the justice, uh, we want to make sure that we also have a balance system, way to just to check to make sure everything's running efficiently as possible. So having a system to check conditions, it could be a checklist, mental checklist, a written checklist, all good ideas. Setting timers that are friendly to your schedule, such as lights and irrigation, also benefit this, meaning it could be uh, getting up in the morning, making sure the lights are on or at night, making sure the lights go off, something that's friendly to your schedule, uh, especially if you're growing in completely controlled conditions, just so you have a way of just kind of double checking to make sure the, the timers are all working properly. Consistency for plants and for growers is a good thing. Uh, this can help ensure accuracy uh, predictions for the plants and also provide the growers with early identification when something isn't going right. Having everything right in the line and all set, something get, gets out of line, it's very easy quickly to identify that to minimize the impact that it'll have on the overall growth cycle of the plants. Plan for failures, so have a backup products ready to go if you know uh, they're eventually going to fail. So for example, don't just have one water pump and that's all that you have. Have a backup of the same size so it makes your quick and easy change. Light bulbs, you know they're going to age. Reflectors, you know have to be changing those as well as timers. Any one of these things could fail without notice. So you want to make sure you're going through and changing that out uh, as quickly as you can identify the problem instead of having to order that and having inconsistencies or having something that's not able to work properly. Ventilation, you want to make sure you have sufficient ventilation as this will cause thermostratification and will expose plants to variations in temperature. So you want to make sure you're having a fan to help uh, move some air around, help decrease disease pressure. Also making sure the carbon dioxide is getting mixed well in the air. Also having a fan will help uh, reduce the chance of getting weaker stalks because if you don't have uh, ventilation, weaker stalks will develop. And this could be if a fan goes out and you're not planning for that, um, and the plant's going through a rapid growth phase, weaker stalks could develop as the end result. Lack of light, so poor light can reduce yields. Reduced light can also increase the plant's tendency to stretch and get leggy. It's going to be an extreme example of a really stretchy, leggy plant. This can also increase the odds of plant damage, not only in place, but if you're going through and moving it from a vegetative room to a flower room. Lastly, we want to have consistent irrigation to the plants, because not having regular irrigation can cause undue plant stress. You know these plants are going to be drinking, these plants are going to be needing uh, irrigation and water. You want to make sure they're constantly fed that. Because you don't want to stunt the plants because that can lead to long-term damage, especially if it occurs early in the growth and development of those plants. Also does not allow the grower to know if or when something might be going wrong or failing. Uh, so having the system of checking, if you're using a barrel system, a meter, um, some way of assessing the irrigation or the water moisture content in the uh, irrigation medium um, that is all very important. Now, those irrigation events should be regular, should have an idea when they're coming on, should I know how much water you're giving the plants. And keep in mind, this may change over the growing season as the plants get bigger, but having that check and balance system for all of these parameters is advised because it helps you identify issues early on, uh, decreasing the chance that it could have a, neg a large negative impact on your final product.